It was all a lie. Macros sold us a vision he never believed in. He would destroy us. We just didn't know it yet. We were warriors, but he turned us against each other. Brother against brother. everyone welcome to the live stream sorry this is kind of a weird start the, the game moves, doesn't launch into a starting menu it goes straight into this cutscene and I, I don't have an option here to adjust video settings it looks like it might actually be uh cranked up a little bit too high it's overloading my cpu a little bit and it's making a stream stutter uh it's working fine on the actual game itself but it's not working so great on the uh on the stream i, I don't know let's see what i can do to get here control layout's not helping the only option it gives me is quitting the game. I can't even skip the uh, menu. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right. Hopefully, this will uh, smooth it up a little bit. But welcome, everyone who's here in the chat so far. Or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, big thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member and support the channel. But a special thanks to all of our top tier Mistakes Were Made channel this members that were easy. highlighted at the start of the stream. I'm going to see if I can tweak the video settings as soon as I get an opportunity in here. In there, or in <laughs> it looks awesome if you blink. Yeah. Yeah. So it's got this whole cinematic scene at the beginning that's really long. Uh, and I tried watching through it before, hoping I could get to uh, pass the cutscene to a menu, but it's not really getting to one. <laughs> you can count on us. You two cover the back. I'll take the front. <laughs> All right. Show me. There we go. Finally, they let me get into the settings. Okay, let's uh, let's make a little tweak to the video settings here a little bit. Um, yeah, it's on quality preset epic. Let's maybe just make it high. Because uh, I think the uh, the settings of this game are a little bit much for my computer. Uh, this is a new game that just came out today. If you haven't seen it, uh, this is Godfall. Uh, just came out today on... Uh, your changes have not been saved. I, I don't want to see... Oh, there. Save. There we go. Uh, Godfall just came out today on PC. It's available as a as a PC exclusive on the uh, the Epic Game Store, uh, and it comes out tomorrow on PlayStation Five. So it's one of the uh, the first next generation only style games, which is probably why my PC struggled a little bit there. Uh, it's kind of like a looting slashing kind of game. Uh, I haven't watched too much of the gameplay yet, so uh, I'm not entirely sure how it all works out. But basically, we're uh, we're like fighting enemies and stuff. Uh, it's a sort of a stuff quest. My resolution's off. Uh, this is great. Everything's going fabulous. Uh, hold on. Oh, here it is off. Display resolution. Come on. You know, let's just go full screen. Give me my 1920 by 1080. I don't. I don't know why it would kick into a weird setting like that, but confirm. There we go. Okay. That should be better. Hopefully. Seems a little smoother anyway. Hopefully, hopefully it runs at least a little bit better. So we were originally going to play Grounded tonight, but I decided that since this game came out today, uh, Epic Games was kind enough to provide me with a code to play the game. So I thought, yeah, let's check this out. We'll see what it's like. Um, it is, as I said, just uh, available on PC right now on the Epic Game Store. There's a link in the description below to where you can get it if you're interested in picking it up after you see some of the gameplay. Uh, or if you're uh, looking for it on PlayStation again, it's available tomorrow. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Um, so I guess uh, I'm some kind of currency stuff. Um, so this is uh, this is kind of like a, a looter slasher RPG kind of combo thing. <clears throat> Clearly, I need to adjust my video settings more. Um, Anti-aliasing, texture detail, foliage quality. Let's make that medium. Motion blur. Turn that off. That'll help. All right. Let's go this way. Good old motion blur. You predict a fail. It doesn't seem to be tearing for me, but uh, aim at blue active phase node. Hold B to teleport towards it. All right. 
Uh, I am playing on PC, but I'm using my Xbox controller because I figured the uh, controls might be a little bit easier with a controller than trying to use. Right button to light attack, right trigger to heavy attack. Okay, that's what I expected. Ow. Die, dude. Can I go in here? No, I can't. It's just like a spawning thing. V Sync, is it tearing still? What a good start to a stream. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Uh, all right, V Sync is on. View distance high. Shadow quality will make that medium. All right. Sorry, I would have set all this up ahead of time, but I just kind of got the game downloaded shortly before stream started. And then when I tried to load it up, it went into that long cutscene. I was like, oh god, I don't even know what I'm going to be able to get to a menu. Could also put shadows down below. They're always so laggy for you. I have them on medium now, so hopefully that helps. Hopefully there's a way to can I target enemies. Yeah. All right, now I got them targeted. Ow! Eat it. Oh, I counterattacked them. Give me all the loots and the stuff. So I gather as you go through this, you sort of upgrade your weapons and things. You can get uh, different different quality levels of items, and they're sort of randomly dropped. Looks fine now. Okay, good. As long as it's running smoothly. I mean, anyone who's, who clicks on this stream on the channel has probably clicked off by now, sadly. <laughs> like, God, the quality of this is terrible. Happy Bladed B-Day, Greg. Is it Greg's birthday? Happy birthday, Greg. Oh, I almost fell off of there. Oh, I can't just jump across. <laughs> uh, those guys are interesting. Oh, A button seems to be my little, uh, my little attack dodge thing. I mean, it looks great. Of course, I grew up on Atari, so just about everything looks great. Oh, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Find the Sunforged Temple Sir, entrance. You're still injured. So the the uh, the part that I couldn't show you in the cutscene because it wasn't running very well. Your eyes are bleeding. The uh, is, is basically that we're two brothers, I guess. They're, I don't know if we're like, supposed to be like gods or we're just like all powerful or whatever. We've got this crazy armor that's super powerful. Uh, two brothers that are sort of fighting each other. And, and my character was defeated by the other brother. And uh, thought to be dead, but he's like risen up, and now we're like fighting back against his units or something. Oh, that was cool. A little laggy on the effect there, though. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Right. Press down on the right stick to perform a takedown. Ah, this isn't working. Okay, how do I do that? This isn't working. He's just beating my head in. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> Wrong button. Nope. I don't know, it says to push down and right, but it's not working. Fox is about old as the game's timeline. Yeah, pretty much. That's, that's me. Welcome to ancient land. Population me. Oh, I jumped. Are you late? Uh, not really. We started late today because YouTube was having some issues, so I didn't start the stream until like 9.30 Eastern. So we've only really been live for about 10 minutes, and the first little bit we were messing around with the graphics of the game, trying to get it to run a little better. Press down on the right stick uh, for the enemy to perform a takedown. Yeah, for the enemy to perform a takedown, yeah. Press A to evade enemy attack. Who are you? Oh! Oh, that guy's already dead. Ow! <laughs> Get my butt kicked. Doesn't help that I let that guy hurt me while I was trying to throw him. Smashed him. Life stones. Press X to restore health. Uh, your life stone has three charges. Refilling whenever you pick up excess green health globes. My green health globes from defeated enemies. All right. Ooh, we're healed. That's good. 
Yeah, so this this was released on the Epic Store today about 4 p.m. Eastern time. And then tomorrow it comes out on the PS5. I'm not sure exactly what time it's available then. Oh, missed. The one thing I will point out is this is definitely a premium title based on the pricing of it. I wonder what the deal is with this thing. This reminds me of Darksiders. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. I'm, I'm curious to see how it plays out because I haven't really seen a lot about the game. I didn't follow the development of it. This game is literally Gods of War PS4, is it? So in Gods of War, are you finding like random loot and things? I've never played that game. Ow! Ow, all right. Don't hurt me in the face. Can I block? Tell me I can block. I can't block. Apparently I can only dodge. Look out! Crimson Protector! Protect this. Oh, jump attack's kinda neat. I have $99 version, I can't play it like you, why? Uh, well, if you got it on the PlayStation 5, it's not available until tomorrow. Um, if, if you got it on the PC, it should be available right now. This is the deluxe version as well uh, that Epic sent me the code for. Slashy, slashy. I guess this is probably the entrance I need here, but let's, let's deal with this thing up here. Did I get a shield? Hold left button to block with the shield. Oh, there. See, that's what I was looking for. Sadly, on this controller, my left button's a little messed up. So that might prove challenging. No. Oh, why'd you respawn? Oh, he's got a gun! It's cheating. Ow! Probably should have blocked. Eat it. You have it on PC? Oh my gosh, yes, you can download it now. Yeah, yeah. So it was, like I said, it was available at, at some 4 p.m. Eastern time today, so. You shouldn't have issues with that, I don't think. Uh, Hold the button to block the shield. I guess they want me to not get shot too much. Oh, yeah. Figures. Right as I let the shield down. Fortunately, those guys don't block. They got a gun. Gods of War looks a lot like this to me. Also, plays similarly. Yeah, I've, I've seen some people mention that um, online a little bit. Looks kind of like Gods of War. Um, I mean, I guess there's probably a few games that have this kind of a this kind of a combat sort of thing. Combat style, rather. Uh, that's a bonus green orb I don't need. How about that? I'm not dying right now. Shield throw. Hold left button to aim. Press right trigger to throw your shield. Oh! I <laughs> knocked him right over with it. Oh, he's got some weird uh, special ability going on here. Ow, I put my shield up, but it didn't work. Ah. Cheating. That's cheating. Ah. <laughs> it's a really slow wind up on that shield throw. Jeez. Oh, 
Oh, I died. I wasn't paying attention to my health. Aww. <laughs> First death. Zero deaths. That didn't happen. You didn't see it. I think it was after I killed all the opponents, too. Even phase node and hold B, so we gotta jump again. We didn't even get any loot from those guys. Both interested in how this looks and disgusted by how much it seems nearly rip off level from God of Wrath. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know who developed the game relative to uh, God of Wrath, but. I don't know why it's. won't let me throw them. Can't figure out how that works. I feel like that takedown effect would be handy, though. That's some blue stuff. So, uh, what's the point of this game? I mean, is he beating these people up for some reason, or just because they're all here? <laughs> mostly because mostly they're here, and I want to kill them. Um, the the premise that they show in the, the cinematic at the beginning of the game is, is that it's like a conflict between two brothers and their armies. Uh, the two brothers have this crazy armor on that is, like, uh, super powerful or whatever. Red power attack. Power attacks cannot be parried or blocked and always knock you down. Evade them. I guess this is a mini boss here. Ow. <laughs> All right. Maybe not. I wonder why you had half life to begin with. I don't remember to heal more often. Won't be long now. Luke stuff! Good luck, what do we get? Money and Helio orbs, by the looks of it. Alright. The Potter in town paid this guy to smash all the. Yeah, that's right. Guaranteed job security. Um, What's up here? More little dudes. Little creepy dudes. Craven Spawnling. Alright. This is just scenery. There's a property to do the takedown when you finish your combo and they were still alive. Yeah, but it's saying that like push on the right controller stick and it's not working. No man shall enter the temple. I guess the High Lord Phalanx here. Ow! That's my face! You didn't get the memo about my face. I'm gonna just cheese him by sh shield bash. Oh, nope, nope. <laughs> Can't do that. Oh boy. Get up. Run. Alright, restore health. Alright, let's pull the offensive maybe. That's a little flamey. Flame on, dude. Oh man, he knocks me down even when I get the shield up. Oh, right in the back. All right, that didn't work. Must be that time. Oh, jeez. With this giant hammer, I can't really uh, can't really block him too well. Oh, get out! Get out! Oh, ho. that was close. Ow. 
Last heal. Nope, I won. Ha <laughs> ha take that, buddy. The pill, if you don't like the game, that's fine. Nobody's asking you to like it. Different people are gonna like different games. Just because you don't like it doesn't mean nobody will. Main character seems a bit overpowered for this to be Dark Souls-ish. It's not really very Dark Souls-ish from what I've seen. I mean, there's checkpoints go that go along, so you don't have like that... Um, sort of that difficult roguelike kind of aspect to it. So when I died in that fight earlier, it just kicked me back to an earlier checkpoint and I proceeded as per normal. Uh, the enemies weren't back or anything, so it's I wouldn't say it's Dark Souls-ish. Hello, Oren. I knew I'd see you again someday. And you know why I'm here. in the head. <laughs> Again, the pill, it's it, it's not... If you don't like the game, that's fine. Don't buy it. Vote with your money. But... How about you give it up? If you don't like the game, why are you here? Go watch something else. Honestly. Stop complaining. that leveled up boom give me stuff ah missed <laughs> you'll get it when it's on steam <laughs> the common lament <laughs> I imagine it's probably like most other games that are on the Epic Store where it has like a one year time exclusive. Morph Stones are unidentified loot and appear in five different rarities. Common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary. Okay, doesn't tell me what it's for though. Tremor weapon, go to your equipment items. What's this now? Attributes. Uh, might improves your weapon damage, vitality improves your max health, spirit improves your life stone recovery and your ability to damage. Oh, and your ability damage rather. Oh, okay, so this is the weapon I have right now. It's the Needle, Common Log Sword, 20 physical DPS. Knight's Lifestone, 50 health recovery. That's what I'm using there. In the Armory, what do we got here? Oh, here's the new weapon we got. Tremor, Common Warhammer. Let's try this thing out. How do I equip this thing? Uh, I want to use it? I don't know how. Skills, Combat Skill Grid. Spend skill points to unlock new combat skills. You can always reallocate your skill points later. Oh, look at all this stuff. Holy jeez. Okay, I have one skill point available. Uh, weapon techniques. Press left trigger and right button to perform a northern technique. And left trigger, right trigger to perform a southern technique. Tch, north versus south? What's that now? Probably time uh, blank after weapon attack, so unleash a weapon timing attack. It looks like I can only get this first one at the top. Oh, I can see I can go down on the bottom too. Shield throw. Left button and B perform an arcing shield throw that hits all enemies along its trajectory. And that might be neat. Finesse. Press A while evading uh, to perform an evasive slide. Increase your mobility as you evade. And then polarity attacks. Charge up your polarity attack by hitting enemies with your weapon. When fully charged, swap weapons to unleash a shockwave and boost your weapon's damage by 20% for 30 seconds. I don't know how to swap weapons. Alright, let's go with this thing for now, I guess. Purchase that. And then that unlocks the stuff that's next to it so we can try to buy those later. Um, I want to know what the deal is with this hammer. How do I equip this hammer? It says I could salvage it. What's the lore on this thing? When Bulwark struck with his simple hammer, his enemies did not know if they shook from fear or from timbers of the earth. How do I equip it, though? Oh, in here. There we go. That's where I equip it. 
Already equipped. Let's try this hammer thing. We'll see what it's like. That's a big hammer right there. <laughs> Silver main Valor Plate. I think you can get different Valor Plate and stuff in this too, so you have like a different look and maybe different abilities. Alright. Whoa, that is a huge hammer. Or the technique. Left trigger and right button. Alright, that's cool. The other one was both triggers. I don't know the difference. <laughs> I don't really see the difference there. <laughs> this thing's got good smashing power. Wish I could jump with it. Mox always goes for the Thor's hammer. No, not really, but I, I, I generally prefer the finesse weapons, but uh, I just want to see how this one works. It's got a nice, uh, it looks like an area of effect to hit when it hits the ground. So we might actually be able to get multiple targets with it. Or jumped. Let's try this on him. It doesn't knock him down, clearly. Oh, I can't use my shield when I'm in this mode. It's all about the dodging. I don't know if I'm sold on this weapon. Oh, the multiple hit's cool. <laughs> Him. What we got in here? Give me another cool weapon. It's Minecraft Dungeons Hammer, that's right. <laughs> this is well, you know, in some ways this is a similar style of game to Minecraft Dungeons, except that it's not like dynamically generated levels, I don't think. <laughs> there is a campaign mode to this that we're working our way through. But it is a it is basically a stuff quest. Like you're just like going through and Trying to find different equipment and things. Go deeper into Sunforged Temple. I think about buying this game until that hammer came out. That's I silly looking. <laughs> well, it, has the power to reshape it is pretty ridiculous. I, but I think the idea with this armor is it's supposed to make us like super powerful. He nearly has the power of a god. You are one man, an injured man. I didn't come for your encouragement, Sanctum. If you guys read fantasy novels at all, this armor reminds me of uh, the Stormlight Saga by Brandon Sanderson. Where, like, the two brothers have the super powerful armor and their armies are stuck with just regular armor. Yeah, shield is better for me, I agree. I, I'm, uh, I'm a blocker. I don't really like to like just dodge and smash. Let's uh let's switch my equipment back. Oh, oh what else did I get? Oh, I got something else new. Conviction. Ooh, common dual blades. Oh yeah, let's try that out. Show me those common dual blades. Same amount of damage, but it just uh <laughs> there's no book of paragators. There. Oh, that looks cool. Okay, this might be neat. Yeah, those are cool. Ooh, I like that attack. All right, I might play with these for a little bit. I like fast weapons generally more than slow weapons in games, even if they tend to hit for less damage. Yes, let's agree to stop beating the trolls. Back to sword and board, in my opinion. I probably will switch back to it. I'm just testing out the different weapons. Oh, I can still use the shield. That's interesting. All right, so it, with the dual... Oh, this is great. With these dual swords, I can still use the shield. But I get the benefit of using two swords. That's the best of both worlds. Oh, I see what it is. When they're on the ground, you can do a maneuver that... Uh, like, levels like a finishing move kind of thing. The reason I couldn't do it before in those other enemies is because they were still standing up. I had to knock them down first. Now, Troll, you're actually looking up for Fox. What's this now? 
Uh, know, let's grab this over here. Fast weapons would be like whoosh whoosh. I want to jump off of here. <laughs> All right, clearly I'm not supposed to go this way. There's got to be another door up here. Oh man, if you run for a little bit, you get like a super sprint. Okay, up this way, I guess. That's not realistic. You talking about the game, or are you talking about something else? Because uh, <laughs> there's, there's kind of not a lot that's realistic in this game at all. Except for the fact that I'm holding weapons. Ow! <laughs> I must have been aiming at the wrong guy. Yeah, I was. What? He's got his friend shielding him again. Where are you? Back here. Ow. Ah, I can't throw my shield. I wonder if there's like a timer on that. Okay, this guy's gotta go down. Ow! <laughs> No, I was. Sh I had my shield button down. What is all the drama going on over here? We start from checkpoint. Oh, missed. There was literally one enemy left, and he's not even tough. It's a shame that guy killed me. I gotta pay attention and heal a little more frequently. Oh, the white circle bottom left is th yeah. So I gotta uh, keep an eye on that, I guess. I suppose it makes sense that you can't just spam it out. Cause it seems to be relatively powerful. It knocks enemies down. I'm. <laughs> Smashing stuff in the hopes of finding loot. The only thing I'm really getting is these blue things. I wonder what the uh, special attacks are on this weapon. The odds are greatly against you. Darn it! The game even knows how I play. <laughs> And I am not just some tool at your disposal. Ooh, Knight's Ring! Uh, aim at phase number... Right, what's, what's, that, what's that Knight's Ring thing in here? Oops. Uh, oh, hit the wrong button. There we go. Rings. What's this ring do? Plus 20 might. Alright, I assume I can equip it down here. Yeah. Alright, so that gives me a bonus to my damage. That's alright, I guess. i find more stuff. on here. Ow! That's not fair. I wasn't paying attention, buddy. He does a little pose after that last attack, and I can't uh, can't use the shield when he's posing. He's too busy showing off his, ep his epic moves. Mantle Fancy Edition. It kind of is a little bit, isn't it? <laughs> What's this guy's deal? Why is he fighting the doggy things? Oh, I think the... Uh... Oh, that's not a not attack I can dodge. Uh... Whoop. 
Get my shield back. Oh, I thought I would just lock on target. Oh, got him on the way back. There we go. That's the takedown move. New codex entry. Bronze Animus. Animus? Wait a minute. Is this Assassin's Creed? Oh, there's like a stuff all the way around the outside here. That other sword was cool, but I, I think I definitely prefer these dual swords. me. Ow, that one didn't miss. Oh, no to the dad. All right. Ow, okay, heal, heal. Ow. Good daddy, and what does he do? Got him. That was messy. Ooh, Vendetta, new weapon. That one, dude. Armory, Vendetta, uncommon longsword. So we got our first weapon upgrade now. This one uh, obviously is uh, a longsword like this one, but it's got uh, slightly higher damage. It does fire DPS, too. Plus 24% weak point damage. Oh, let's try that out. First weapon upgrade. As much as I like the dual swords, I'm going to take the upgrade. I'm getting beat with a hockey stick sword. It was a little like one, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, can I see the map? No, I can't. I feel like I was supposed to come down this way after going in the room back there, maybe. But maybe not. Oh, jeez. Gotta be careful attacking when you're running in this game. Shatterplate weapon. Blind justice weapon. Man, look at that stuff. And all kinds of stuff now. Uh, uncommon warhammer. They're both warhammers. This one looks like an axe, though. Plus 18% breach damage, whatever that is. Plus 7% weapon technique charge speed. Plus 24% weak point damage. So, I guess they got like a secondary ability or something? I don't know. Are the armor upgrades? Uh, I think there are armor are, are, uh, are other than that. I think there are arm, armor upgrades because you can go in here and look at uh, what are the skills. I thought there was like a in the armory something rings arms armaments. So at the bottom it's got like silver main valor plate and I wonder if there's like different valor plate you can get but I'm not really sure. This is my first time playing it. it only just came out today on PC. So I have. Uh, I have a lot I don't know about the game yet. It's kind of all a guessing game for me at the moment. Breach damage is probably armor penetration. Probably, yeah. How's the performance on this game? Any frame drops? Uh, I had to lower the settings when I started the game. So it's got a very non-traditional start. It, it doesn't load into like a menu the way a lot of games do to start off with so you can adjust settings. Instead, it goes through a long cutscene or like an introductory video kind of thing. Um, and I couldn't lower the settings on that. It ran fine on my PC, but it was affecting the stream quality. So it was really dropping frames a lot in the stream. Like really bad. Uh, it looked fine on my PC, it just didn't look good on stream. Oh, well, I can quick turn around. Get me out of here. This guy's trying to hit me. I gotta get rid of this guy with a gun. That's better. Miss me. Look out. Oh, that was a cool move. Uh oh. Oh, he's protected again. Ah! This thing. Run! Don't get shot. What's the guy that was guarding him? There he is. Whoa! 
was that ability? I was trying to throw my shield. <laughs> I was hit the wrong button to throw my shield. Works way better when I hit the right button. <laughs> Still, the special attack is cool. He does like a teleport and then does like all these crazy like fiery sword attacks. Sweet. You can jump in the ascended version ed edition. Really? They they kept they kept jumping to a particular version of the game. That's super weird. We have a swashbuckler at heart. I enjoy games like this. I, I mean, I tend to tend to favor like a little bit more Dark Souls style. This one's not. Uh, this one's not Dark Souls like, but uh, combat's fun. So far, still super early in the game, though. I mean, for all I know, it'll be a super short game. Playing this now, graphics are sick. Yeah, they're pretty sharp. I, I don't know how, how well the quality comes through on the stream, but it's uh, it's a pretty sharp looking game. That wasn't who I was aiming at. All right, so take him down quick before he gets up. Oh, boy, he got up. Move, move, move. Man, I like that move. That's cool. One down. Ow. Let's try his other special move here. No, oh, that one's weird. Yeah, that, that one looks like it's maybe better for like multiple enemies. It's like a sweeping motion. It was not loading or wondering what was happening to uh, I mean, anyone else's. No, it's uh, I mean, it's fine for mine. I assume you're playing it on, trying to play it on PC because it's not out on PS5 just yet. <laughs> Someone left the lava faucet on. How dare they? I don't know what those blue things are for. I wonder if I get to spend them later. Soul Shatter. Use right button to convert any portion of the enemy's health into Soul Shatter buildup. Use right trigger to deal Soul Shatter damage equal to the enemy's Soul Shatter buildup. That was super not specific. Ow! Right button to create soul shatter buildup, right trigger to deal soul shatter damage. But that's just like, oh, I see. Like, the, again, that must be against this specific type of enemy. Because ordinarily, it's just the, the, like, the light attack and heavy attack. Oop, level three. Man. You're on PC? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why it wouldn't be loading for you then. I don't know. It loaded for me fine. The only thing I was confused about is, like I said, it, it went straight into like a like a cutscene instead of going to a menu first. So you couldn't adjust any of the video settings until after the cutscene. So I ended up having to skip it on the stream, unfortunately. What we got True Strike Ring and Hope's Lament Weapon. Well, let's uh, let's equip the ring because I can have two of them equipped. It looks like. Uh, 26 spirit plus 14% physical damage. All right, we'll take that. And then, uh, Hope's Lament is this one here. Uncommon dual blades plus 8% polarity attack charge speed. I don't know what that is, but let's try that anyway. That fire sword was pretty sweet, though.
There's another one of those souls guys over there. Ow, wrong button. <laughs> I meant to block. Looks like you can like parry block with the, uh, the sword a little bit. Weapon, uh, needle. Sorry, I know I'm checking a lot of the weapons, though, because I don't know what they do. So, I'm, we're gonna... Oh, that's like a rapier. It says, it says it's a common longsword, but... That's weird. What do I get if I scrap this thing, I wonder? Because I know we can go... Oh, we got a skill option, too. Uh, soul shatter. Oh, there's the soul shatter right there. Plus 5% soul shatter buildup. Weapon timing. Probably time, and then it's got like a weird blank spot <laughs> after weapon attacks to unleash a weapon timing attacks. All right, let's up, let's upgrade my shield throw. That's oh no, I can't. Oh wait, there we go. Ah, gotta hit the right button. Okay, so I do like that shield throw. At least now we can hit multiple targets with it. Needle from Game of Thrones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's made of Valyrian steel. You can hold two weapons at a time and swap them. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on. So if I go into here, I could do, uh... Oh, that is like a hammer. I thought that was an axe looking at like, the, uh, the icon image, but it's like a funky hammer. Now, how do I swap the weapons while I... Oh, wait a minute. Augments. Enhance your valor plates by inserting augments into the unique augment constellations. Augments have three possible affinities. Red, green, and blue. They can only slot into neutral or matching nodes. Each augment has a power drain amount. Your total power drain cannot exceed your Valor Plate's power capacity. No, these are all locked. <laughs> Won't be doing any of those yet. <laughs> Archon Fury. Oh, Silvermane. Plus 10% weapon techniques. Archon Fury. Left stick and right stick down. Call for three spirit warriors to aid you in battle. During Archon Fury, plus 300% weapon technique charge speed. Plus 30% damage uh, whenever you defeat an enemy with a weapons technique. All right. Funky. All right. I don't know what the deal is with that just yet, but we'll get to it. We'll figure it out. It takes like a second for the loot to fall on the ground. I keep walking past it. Oh, hey, dude. Ah, oh, wrong one! I was not aiming at him! At all! No, I don't have a... No, it's not charged up. All right, how do I switch weapons now? Oh, it's Y. Oh! Crushed him. Can't throw it yet. It's not ready. There we go. Go get him! Neat. Alright, so we use both the hammer and the swords. That's cool. I guess, uh, depending on the enemy, depending on which weapon we want to use. Because that breach damage, it seemed, the hammer seemed to do a lot of damage against those big metal guys. Kind of like Pharaohs. Uh, down or up? Hmm. Let's go up first, I guess. Giant hammer plus shield does, uh, does he have three arms? Oh yeah, he's got it all. Dual swords, giant hammer, shield. He can do everything all at once, it's fine. Looks good, but is it fun? 
yeah, it's fun so far, but I've only been playing so far for uh, a little less than an hour. So I'm not really that deep into the game yet. I haven't really gotten the, the whole crux of, like, what kind of upgrades and stuff we're looking for. Uh, that sort of thing. So, because it's, uh, it's like a, a dungeon-crawling, loot-finding sort of game. We're looking for weapon and, and armor and equipment upgrades and stuff. Oh, this looks like a guy. What the heck was that? I just... Okay. Grim Honor Guard. Shield parry. Press left button to parry. Press right before... To... Oh, I've already been doing that a little bit, actually, by accident. The susceptible parry leaves your enemy vulnerable for a short time. Alright, that's to be expected. Oh! There he goes. Oh! <laughs> that was cool. So when he's vulnerable, I can hit him with that, uh, that special move. Sweet. Just watch the GTX 1060 BM and it, uh, it's well optimized. Yeah, I'm actually, uh, I'm using this, uh, I'm playing this on a 1660 Ti. I had to lower some of the settings for the stream, but, um, I, I actually, I, interestingly, I didn't have to lower it for my own gameplay. It was only because the stream was stuttering. <laughs> my god, that damage. Yeah, <laughs> when you, uh, when you parry and they're, they're wide open, you can hit them with, like, a special move that just crushes them. I love this hammer. It's chock full of hammery goodness. I, I don't know which weapon I'm going to prefer. This thing's pretty cool. Here, little guys. Oh. Sometimes aiming's a little off. <laughs> Batter up. Can't wait to get some of the cool weapons, like the uh, like rare and epic type stuff. Play on a 5700 XT. Yeah, th this one, uh, when you, when you load up the game, and it pulls up a it's not the Nvidia card, it's the Radeon card that it actually advertises at the beginning of it. So I guess maybe it's optimized for Radeon. Great swords are fun in this game, yeah. I mean, so far I've got like the dual swords, and I've got the regular long sword. <laughs> I've got this uh, fancy hammer thing. Just chock full of hammery goodness. <laughs> Doesn't stand a chance. They like they get staggered by this thing. Get him! Get in there quick! No! <laughs> Alright, what are the special moves of this thing? Oh! Okay, gotta do that when I'm in closer. Boom! <laughs> Alright, that's a good special move. I like that. I'm kind of waiting for those statues to come to life. Great swords are great. This is my, this is my shock face. Yeah, see that? That's right. Aimbot's not working. I can have potato aim in any game you choose. It doesn't have to be a shooting game. That's what they call versatility. How could you? Possibly defeat your brother and all his forces. Tell me. I'll find a way. I just need to get inside the monolith. Wait a minute. That. Ah, uh, who's that voice? <laughs> I will find you, and I will kill you. The shame people can't just talk without getting. Oh, jeez. Just, just can't you just chill out? Like. If you're here to enjoy the stream, then enjoy the stream. Just chill out. Everyone, if everyone relaxes, everything goes so much smoother. Better up.
Heard good stuff about it, except there's a lot of repeat. Well, I mean, it's it's largely, uh, I mean, the whole concept of the game is run around, killing things, smashing stuff, upgrading your equipment, and then doing it some more. Um, so in that in that concept, I would say, yeah, it, it is, uh, it's gonna have that repetitive nature to it, right? Liam Neeson, yes, thank you. I was having a horrible brain fart, couldn't think of the name. I will find you, and I will kill you. Don't flex at me, buddy. It's like a momentary delay where you have to like stand there <laughs> waiting for him to do that move. Oh! That's my back! Oh, no, I couldn't just flag that one. What was I doing? Oh, this guy's got he's got fancy protections on. Nope, nope. Stop targeting. <laughs> Uh, okay, hold on. Need to heal. There we go. Crimson Protector, my butt. Stop him. I swear that sounds like Liam Neeson. It's probably not, but it sure sounds like him. Not that actors aren't, you know, voicing video games and stuff, but still. Uh, do we go that way or do we go across the courtyard over here? Let's check over here. Graphics do look amazing in this game. Yeah, they're pretty sharp. I like them. Bet it runs real smooth on the uh, PlayStation 5. Don't you honor guard me. Get him! Oop, portal opening. Ow. I'm trying to block that. Ow. <sighs> Martin. I do care about my fan base, but... What I don't care about is random people who come into the stream and start a big argument over something stupid and then won't let it go. That's not my fan base. That's a random person showing up and causing problems. So either just hang out and enjoy the stream and chill out or don't. But one way or another, it's going to stop. Like, honestly, just relax. Everyone's here to have fun, not to argue. those green things. I don't know what those are for yet. Oh, I guess every time I find a green orb, it's like a weapon or an item or something. Um, but I was expecting it to give me a pop-up telling me what it was. 26, 26, plus 22% breach damage, plus 18% breach damage. So this one's the better one to equip. Uh, hold on. Let's do that again. Okay, so instead of the plus, instead of the eighteen percent breach damage, we'll go for the twenty-two percent. Bam. Okay, so this was definitely about getting that chest over here. We got to go back to the other stairway. So it's a good thing I came over here and looked. You have to unlock the co-op mode? Uh, that I don't know. I, I haven't. I don't know anyone else that has the game. Um, so I wasn't uh, wasn't trying the co-op at all. It was just uh, just jumping in and playing tonight. But I'm not sure how that works exactly. 
I know there are several different versions of the game that you can buy with like escalating price points, and I don't know exactly what the difference is between each of them either. I didn't uh, I didn't look into it too deeply, but um, the code that uh, Epic provided for me was the deluxe edition, and there's another one above it called like the Ascendant edition. I don't know if it's um, like just cosmetic stuff or it's actual in-game functionality that's different between them. Sorry to say, there are currently no listed voice actors for this game. I just checked. Oh, okay. What do you think will happen if Macro succeeds? He becomes a god. And the world as we know it will end. I fear you may be right. I mean, it could just be a voice actor doing their best version of Liam Neeson or something, but it really sounds like that to, like him to me. I don't know. Get the protector out of here. He's got to go down first. He's a big chump. I think I hit his friend with that attack. That's cool. You're next, buddy. Just cosmetic stuff? Oh, okay. So at least it's not a pay-to-win kind of scenario. Probably should have looked it up before I started playing. It was late in the day today when I got when I got the email with the code. Uh, right around the time that I rescheduled the stream to play this game instead of Grounded tonight. It's cheaper to pay a voice actor than act like, act like Liam Neeson. Yeah, for sure it is. <laughs> but sometimes they just want the real thing. Okay, this looks like a uh, setup for a boss fight or something here. Break it all! I'm leaving half the loot behind. It, it takes a moment to fall on the ground. I keep leaving it. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, they've done a really nice job on the graphics in this game. It's pretty sharp. And I, I don't even have it on the highest settings right now. I imagine it's uh, it could be played in 4K, given it's... Uh, I, I think PlayStation 5 has native 4K available to it, right? Alright, I guess I gotta do this thing. Sunflare Orb. Survive until the countdown expires. Defeat as many enemies as possible to collect better rewards. <laughs> Uh-oh. One down. Oh, got a guy behind me. Ow! Ow, I don't have it charged up. Oh, he blocked it! <laughs> I didn't think he could do that. I thought my shield was just a guaranteed hit. Should have known better. Ow. Ow. What happened there? Oh, I had the timer ran out. All right. So I didn't defeat that many enemies, so our reward's not going to be that good. Yeah, just junk. <laughs> All right, that's cool. I should probably should have brought the hammer out. That thing smashes. Smashes good. Okay, through the portal we go. Is there a parry? There is, yeah. So with the... I'm using an Xbox controller, and if I use the, the left bumper... It'll do. A, you have to time it like just before the, the attack hits, and then it staggers them. And then there's a special move you can do that does a ton of damage. Your odds are a thousand to one, but I'll help you. A thousand to one. On one condition. What, what is, is it? it? What is it? You won't like it, Oren. Tell me where my wife is. I keep collecting these blue things and I still don't even know what they do yet. <laughs> I just can't help myself. Gotta get them all.
Perilous Attack. Uh, parry a Perilous Attack to stun an enemy for long duration. Beware. Blocking a Perilous Attack will stagger and make you vulnerable to additional attacks. So it's a risky maneuver to try to parry it. Like, high risk, high reward kind of thing. Dig this game? Uh, so far, yeah. I mean, it's uh, we're still early in the gameplay, but I'm having fun with it. It's uh, it's not like a high, uh, a high-minded kind of game or anything. It's pretty much just running around and killing things and smashing stuff. But so far, I'm having fun, and the graphics are beautiful. This lady talking, couldn't focus on Oh, jeez! Oh, okay. Oh, that hurts. Apparently hitting him hurts me. Good times. Uh, what's your deal, buddy? Now, Oh, I did- Oh, I thought I got a parry off, but apparently I didn't. Oh, okay, that was not a thing to parry. Move! Move! Oh, I see what it is. He's doing an explosion attack after he stabs the ground. Okay, reach on that sucks. <laughs> Dodge right into it. Perfect. That's how you play games. Get out of the ring. Eat shield. Ah, oh, God. All right, I should have known. Hoping I can run in there with. That was clearly not the time to stun him with that. How do you like hammer? Oh! <laughs> I didn't even get to hit him with it. What's going on here? Oh boy, run! No, run! Just run! <laughs> there we go. Oh, man, the range of that sucks. Eat special move. Ow. <laughs> that was a bit of... I think it's when he blows blue he's doing the perilous attack. Which is the thing I can... Uh, I think I could try to parry. I don't know what's happening. I don't like it though. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, laser beams. This phase. Ah! Oh, he's got like a shield that's regenerating. Ah! Stop with the fire! I like that fire thing. Ah! 
Ow! Did I get him? I think we got him. That's a big sword he's got. If your character wasn't OP, this fight would suck. Yeah, he's pretty strong. <laughs> oh, I stole his, like, gem heart thing. That floor is fire. <laughs> Just don't step in it. Oh, see, those are the different, the different armor things in the game, I think. Now you can go up. Oh, I see. You have to like play through like a starting level, maybe. Unlock the slide dodge ASCP. It makes life so much easier. All right. I don't even know what's happening right now. Oh, that's the lady that's been talking to me. Welcome. Uh, hi. Okay, so this is the uh, the fancy plate armor stuff I'm wearing right now. I wonder if I can switch to different armor, because there's like all kinds of different ones in here. Oh, look at that one. That's cool. These are sweet. All right, I gotta talk to the Seventh Sanctum. I'm here, Sanctum. Tell me what you need. Macros nearly has the power of a god. If you are to defeat him, your plan must be flawless. And I can craft such a plan. Hmm. I trusted Macros once. Now you're asking me to trust you. It will only be until Macros is vanquished. You will see. Even if I don't agree, you came to me because you saw no other way. This is your path. Let me guide you. Do not betray me, Sanctum. Too much is at stake. Yeah, so my, my, my character's name is Orin, and that other guy is, uh, is his brother. Uh, the two of them are, like, fighting each other for some reason. It's not really clear about why. In the little intro video thing, these little ar these armors are really cool looking. Though, oh, that, that we gotta get that one. I want this one. <laughs> that looks cool. Um, so is this like the staging area or something where we start? Can't break that. Craft. Oh, craft your first valor plate. Uh, how do I do that? Oh, I walk into and hit B. Okay, what's this one do? No, I can't craft that one. So it looks like I can craft this one here, which is kind of cool looking. None of those. Maybe over here. Not that. Oh, it looks like it's pointing me specifically just to that one. Okay, so this is our first Valor Plate here we can craft. And we're already wearing Valor Plate, too, which is kind of weird. All right, let's craft this one. Each Valor Plate embodies one of the Archons. Each Valor Plate provides a unique passive trait, Archon Fury Ability, and Augment Constellation. Switch between Valor Plates in the Sanctum between missions. Throughout your journey, obtain Valor Plate cores to construct additional Valor Plates. Collect all 12 Valor Plates. All right. Uh, so this one's Phoenix. 10% chance to inflict Ignite. Archon Fury. Unleash a Shockwave that deals 48 fire damage. Uh, Drake Archon Fury. 90% chance to inflict Ignite. 100% plus 100% damage to ignited enemies. 
your attack steal fire damage. That's kind of cool. Craft it. Unlock this valve plate to use it in your loadout. Infuse Jesper. Valve plate core. Huh. All right. Craft. <laughs> ah, cores. of rebirth, watch over you. It's like a phoenix kind of thing. That's pretty cool. Oh, it is phoenix. Ha! <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, do I have like no weapons? Where's all my weapons gone? Oh, there we go. Okay, so these th the ones that I'm not, the weapons I'm not using. I guess I can scrap them if I go into. Uh, where are we here? Into the armory, I can scrap them in here. I've got these two equipped right now, so I don't pretty much need any of these other ones. I can just salvage them, I guess. Okay. I don't know what that does for me. It's gotta be giving me something, but I can't I can't see what it's giving me. This one I, this needle I can't salvage. Uh, I'm going to keep that long sword just in case. Don't need that. Okay, cool. Salvage it all. <laughs> what? Then we go in barehanded. We just got to punch our enemies to death. It'll be great. Don't worry. We, we got this covered. Fiery fists of fury. Oh, here's the social where we can start a party. Codex. Uh, looks like that's just information. Oh, merits. What's the deal with this? Valorant Knight objective: De defeat 500 enemies. Bronze Ward. Oh, see, these are like object or uh, uh, achievements within the game that I guess they give you a reward. All right. Oh, and here's where I changed my Valor plate. So if I click here, no. No, I put on the. I want to put on the plate that I just had there. Oh, equip. There we go. Ah, there's me. Wait a minute. Why do I look like a woman now? A minute ago, I was a man. <laughs> That's confusing. Oh. The weapons I had equipped on the other... On the other uh, character are still on that one. So, the, the weapons stay stuck with the Valor Blade, it looks like. Because I can't choose them. They're locked. I don't think, anyway. Let's double check. Hold on. Oh, no. I could equip them. Uh, I don't wonder why, I wonder why it's locked. That's weird. All right. Whatever. We got it. Go through it and hit Y to edit your stuff. Okay. Uh, visit the training room, which is over here. Can learn how to do my fancy moves. Oh. Training area. Freely test your latest weapon and skills. Breach attack. Right, right, right. Oh. <laughs> I broke the dummy. Ow. Uh, Alright, so... Sweet. Rushing attack is left stick and then right button. Oh, I see. That's just the running thing. Weapon techniques. Uh, your weapon techniques turn up over time. Hold left trigger to initiate. So left trigger and right button is Spectral Fury. Okay, I already had that one. And then southern technique is Spiral Technique. Left trigger, right trigger. That's neat. And then I've got like my my Archon Fury. Cool. Alright, let's get out of here. With the door. Copies the loader from your other Valor plate, or will it should? Yeah, it didn't keep the loader, though. I had to actually pick the weapons. Unless maybe just, like, when I switch back to that Valor plate, it will, uh... 
it'll automatically equip those items, maybe? I don't know. Talk to the Seventh Sanctum again. I'm on fire! We are heading into the monolith. Once inside, we won't be coming out until Macros is finished. We will arrive in the Earth Realm, the lowest level of the monolith interior. Macros has learned how he can use the monolith to become a god. It is an ancient spell, the rites of ascension. This spell can be broken, but only if we know it ourselves. A copy of the rites of ascension are stored here, in the Earth Realm, guarded by Macros' men. You must go to their base and seize the rites for yourself. Bring them to me, and I will find a way to break the spell. See, I feel like she's probably going to double cross us later, and we're just going to like supply her with all this stuff that makes her into like some weird ungodly force. Uh, complete into the monolith. I guess I got to go here. This fancy pool of whateverness. Oh, what's this over here? Is that just decorative? It is. All right, here we go. Oh. Okay. Birth, so story mission, boss, hunt mission, unique. Uh, story mission down here. One rare amulet and one rare ring we get from this one. All right. Interesting. Lore, lore, lore. This is important, this is important, this is important. Um, okay. <laughs> She's the final. I figured she was. The, she'd be the final boss. It's all a setup. The storyteller always betrays. Yeah, I think Nab's one has got it. Uh, got it figured out there. <laughs> it does seem that way. Like we're gonna we're gonna boost her up with all this fancy stuff she's asking us to get for her, and then she's gonna turn out to be somebody we have to fight. Who's the lady that talks to you? I I I don't know what her deal is exactly. She's some sort of like powerful force that is. Quote unquote helping me. Yeah, we got an EMF5. I also get uh, freezing temperatures and uh, ghost writing. Oh, that tip there said something about hitting an enemy weak point, but I don't know what the weak points are. Well, that's cool. This is the Earth Realm, where our adventure begins. So I think the sword that I'm using is the Point one that lights people on watchtower. fire. I'll guide you on your path, but oh, keep your sword close. Yeah, 26 fire DPS. You'll find new friends here. She's all fiery. Fire abilities and a weapon that lights people on fire. It'd be great. Head to the Twilight Beacon. What's this up here? Oh, that's one of the uh, one of the armors I think we saw there. The one I wanted to get that had the crazy horn head thing. Looked like some weird funky demon. Spirit vision. Use spirit vision to guide you to points of interest. Uh, press left and toggle to spirit vision. Okay. Oh. How does that guide me to points of interest? Crimson glades. Is it the fog that guides me? What's the deal there? What the heck is this? Mother loads. We found the mother load. Uh, each realm contains a unique set of mother loads, which provide rare elemental uh, materials required for forging valor plates. Oh, all right. I guess I found one. Give me the mother load. <laughs> we found the mother load. Ooh, it is choppy on the stream, isn't it? Now, okay, hold on a second. Ever since uh, since the cutscene, it's been choppy. Oh, let's um, let's maybe tweak the video settings again. Uh. Post-processing, oh, I want that to be high. Um, texture detail, shadow quality, we can lower that. Let's 
See if that helps. Oh my god, that made the shadow quality terrible. <laughs> Never mind. I can't do that. That was awful. Good lord. That's not medium shadow quality. That's awful. Oh, I put it on low. That's why. Um, vertical sync on. Texture detail. Visual effects. All right. See how that works. Smashy, smashy. YouTube's having problems tonight. Most likely, it's not you. It's them. Uh, I mean, it's possible, but I, I don't think that's actually it. I think um, I think the, the graphical settings in the game are pushing my, my processor. Uh, and the game is favoring... Or, sorry, the, the computer's favoring the quality of the game over the quality of the stream. So, it's, um, it's playing fine for me, but the stream itself is getting choppy. Lens flare? Yeah, I can maybe turn lens flare off. That might help. I hate dialing it down because it kind of wrecks the wrecks the beauty of the game a bit. Now you. Wow, there's a big stream delay too. All of a sudden. That's not related to my processor though. I don't know what's up with that. Head to the Twilight Beacon. This looks like a place to have a fight. Change full screen to windowed. Wow, why is it so choppy? It was running perfectly fine for a while there. Uh, enemy soft locking. Nope. Uh, video. I can't change the display resolution when I go windowed full screen. That's super weird. Still looks choppy. Man. Alright, sorry everyone. This is clearly not uh, not appreciating my streaming at the same time as I'm playing it right now. Uh, let's just turn everything down to medium. I'm gonna put this back on full screen though. I want I want that higher higher resolution setting. Windowed full screen will set it to your monitor native, but it's not actually. It's setting it to a lower setting. My my native monitor is nineteen twenty by ten eighty. Man, I don't know. It looks a little better. For me, the game's the game's performing great. It's just the stream is not is not performing awesome. If you try turning it off and then on again, well, there's that whole streaming thing that tends to interfere with that approach. Ah, little evil dudes. Okay, so what's the deal with this spirit vision, I wonder? Oh. It's like a glowy thing over here. And I can't see that in normal vision. Okay, so that's, uh, that's a clue. This looks like another one of those things we need to build Archon armor up here. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, these maps are a lot more open than I thought they would be. I thought it would be super linear. What have we here? Maybe keep playing once you get uh, 
out of the area will clear itself up. It might, yeah. I'm gonna try and play it. I'll just keep playing it. I, I'm sorry the stream's choppy. I don't know what the deal is exactly. Like I said, I, I, I'm pretty sure the game might be pushing my CPU and then it's messing with the uh, the quality of what's being streamed out. It's a shame, because like I said, it's running great for me. Oh, chest. There's like no enemies on this map. This is weird. What if there's fall damage in this game? Oh, there's a dude. Was, but I did it. We got into the cave or out of the sun. It, uh, it's solid. Oh, really? All right. It must be just in. It's trying to render all the scenery and stuff. Maybe if I change the uh, the view distance. Uh, I already have it on medium. Let's see what happens when it goes to low. Yeah, low view distance seems to help. Or not. Encoding overloaded. Consider turning down your video settings or using a faster encoder. <laughs> Great. <laughs> uh, I missed the thing on the right of the ruins. Did I? Back here, I assume you mean? Oh, is that a thing I can pick up? Oh, it is. I thought that was just like a weird... Effect thing. New codex entry, the Sanctums. Alright. Cool. Manzai. Oh, that's why that thing's up there. I could use it to jump from down here. Oh, I see. It's getting choppy in the sun? That's weird. Something to do with the lighting effects, maybe. Uh. Oh, we gotta release Archon Fury. Sure, it's worth it. Yeah, that's actually that's worth trying. Hold on a second. It's gonna the stream's gonna interrupt for a second, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna kick off into the stop the stream feed and then restart it. <clears throat> Zoom. See if that helped at all. No, nope, that didn't help at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's not. Uh, it's not the game. The game's running fine. It's the stream itself. I don't, I don't know why. I'm sorry, guys. I guess. Uh, I guess this is taxing my system a little more than I thought it would. I've even lowered it down to medium settings and everything. Spirit-bound chests are sealed by spirit tethers in the environment. Destroy the three spirit tethers to unlock the rare chests. Spirit-bound chests exhibit the locations of the spirit tethers in the environment. Lost Valorian artifacts will help you grow stronger. Well, how do I... How do I find these things? Oh, oh I see. So there's one here. Do I just hit it? Nope, I don't hit it. Oh, yes, I do. Just took more damage than I thought. Okay, so that's one. This will be number two. Where's the other one? Oh my god, the cat's up on the desk trying to like attack the monitor again. <laughs> She's Cortana 2.0 or 20.0. Where's this last blue thing? Or was it only two? No, it's it said three, right? Yeah, sorry, the stream's getting all nasty. It was fine for a while, and now suddenly it's not performing. It's not cooperating. Sorry, give me one moment here.
<laughs> we'll try it. Sorry, everyone. I relaunched the game and, and uh, relaunched OBS to see if it will help. I, I think it might be right, though. I think it might be that particular environment, for whatever reason, is drawing a lot more on my CPU than it should be. Oh, man, I sent me all the way back here. <laughs> all right. I guess I gotta relaunch. That sucks. Uh, Crimson Glades. Oh, I can change the difficulty setting here, too. There we go. Then you're gonna work better this time. Ow! Stupid cat. <laughs> I have so many scratches on my legs now from this new cat my wife got. Yeah, it's smooth now. <laughs> Let's see how long that lasts for. Ow! <laughs> cat, you're killing me. Gonna say hi in the mic. Gonna meow a little bit. Let, let go of the mic. All right. <laughs> I can't. I can't do anything with this cat down here. It just it. If I put it down, it jumps up and it doesn't make it up all the way into my lap. He only makes it about three quarters of the way up, or she only makes it three quarters of the way up, and then she just digs her claws in and climbs the rest of the way. Killing me. <laughs> <laughs> She's a whittle. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> cat. This is the All right, Earth you sit, realm, sit still there. Where our adventure begins. Yeah, it's uh it's the environment. Point I can't I can't get away from it. I'll guide you on your path. But keep your sword close. You'll find no friends here. It's really it made me restart the whole area, that sucks. Um I guess it doesn't do any like save progress or anything aside from when you're in the sanctum area. Video shadow quality low. Yeesh. I gotta get out of this treat environment. This uh, this map is brutal for the game. Breach. An enemy's breach bar is located below their health bar. Right trigger heavy attacks to deal increased breach damage. Okay. Hey, buddy. Ow. That hurt. I don't like you very much anymore. I'll give you breach damage. On Fury's ready. What hardware am I playing on? Uh, a six. I have a. My processor is a uh, a sixty seven hundred K, i seven. Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you for the spec drop there. Uh, like I said, it's it's perfectly fine on my uh, on my own game, but the the stream is not approved. The stream's not approving it very much. <laughs> uh, low anti-aliasing, maybe? I even set the view distance to low, hoping that would help, but... I think I actually need to... I need to restart my PC, maybe. Yeah, the game's running fine. It's beautiful, but it it's just... The stream is, uh, is not appro approving of it. Sucks. All right, hold on a second. I'm gonna quickly do a restart of the whole computer and see if that helps. Which means I'm gonna have to restart this level again, unfortunately. Well, so much for viewership. We're down to 60 viewers. <laughs> All right, I did a full restart. Hopefully this will help a little bit. I don't know. Killing me. 
I, I think there's a setting actually I could tweak on OBS. I haven't figured out how to do it yet. That will make it uh, prioritize OBS so that it won't uh, won't be all choppy when uh, this when the game's running fine. But remains to be seen if I can figure that out. <laughs> Yeah, $59 as well as three teeth. So in Canadian dollars, it's more expensive. It's like $79 for this game. Let it be put for the record, we're still here. <laughs> yeah, some people are. Oh, we got no sound. What's going on here? There we go. Unlock skill. Wait a minute. Oh, because I leveled up. Right. Uh, skills. Where's that slide dodge thing they were talking about? Is that That's finesse here, right? Press A while evading to perform an evasive slide, increasing your mobility as you evade. Let's grab that. Let's try this again. Try this again for the uh, the final time. If this doesn't work and it's still super choppy on the stream, I might call it for tonight. Because um, the game's just not cooperating with my stream, unfortunately. You do it through Task Manager? Prior to the hope obsesses all OBS. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, maybe a restart of the computer help too. We'll see what happens. 79 Canadian pesos. <laughs> it's our uh, Canadian Monopoly monies. It's always more expensive in Monopoly monies. They assume it's not worth anything. I'm willing to stick through the wooded area. All right, we'll see what happens. Don't worry, Cryptic, your best pal, Elmo's still here. Ha, huh, Elmo! I mean, OBS isn't giving me an error message yet, so hopefully that's a good sign. This is the Earth Realm, where our adventure begins. Sure it does. Point me towards this watchtower. Point me towards the watch. No, nope, still chubby. God dang it. <laughs> Can't win. Hey, there's a giant axe right here. Can I take this thing? I'm gonna use the big killer axe. Spirit vision. That lets me see the glowy thing. Here for the long haul, choppy or not. It, does the audio go choppy at the same time, or is it just the video that does? I'm gonna click all the stuff I missed over here. New codex entry, Chronicle of the Wolf. Like a broken water wheel there. Shame because the environment detail is great in this game from what I can see so far. Oh, come on. Okay, aside from the fact I couldn't walk through those plants, that makes no sense. I've got super awesome, powerful armor that smashes gigantic enemies. Can't step through a plant. Just the video? Okay. How do I get that thing? Can I hit it with my shield? I can. I don't know what that did for me, but I did it. Oh, sun steel plus ten. Okay. Nice. Use that for making uh making the valor plate or whatever. All right, let's see what the deal is with this tower, because I was kind of running around doing all kinds of other These things before. These twilight beacons mark places where we can start future missions. Let's activate as many of these as we can. Okay. I guess I activated it? I mean, I can't do future missions there now, I guess. Uh, oh, we gotta go over here now. Oh, captain, my captain. Ow. 
Ow. Lord bites the dust. Right trigger deals increased breach damage. What kind of performance are you getting? Feel optimized? Yeah, it's it's running great on my computer. It's just the feed on the stream is awful. I, I when I was uh, earlier on in the stream, I had all the settings up on high. Uh, actually, it was up on Epic, and it was running fine for me. Uh, and I don't have a I don't have a top tier system either. So I mean, there's that, I guess. Into the watchtower. Nope. Got this first. This particular level, though, it seems to be just, like, tanking the stream. So, I apologize that it's, like, really crappy quality right now. Ah, <laughs> that didn't work. I was trying to use my... I was trying to use my Archon ability. I guess it's not charged up. <laughs> Mistakes may have been made. Okay, that's not good. That was a little close for comfort. I almost died there. <laughs> what was that I got? Did you get something special there? Nope. Got a close line. How's the game so far? I'm having fun with it, but I'm uh, relatively early into the game. Uh, the last little bit, unfortunately, I've been mucking around trying to get the stream feed to be smoother. Uh, so that it reflects the gameplay effectively. Uh, I may not even end up winding up. I, I haven't even decided if I'm going to wind up listing this stream on the uh, on that channel afterwards if it's that choppy. Ooh, treasure chest. So far, it's fun. Uh, this map area. So it seems like we have like missions that will take us to different areas on the map. When I mean, we do a stuff quest, where we like run around and kill stuff and look for treasure. Uh, the maps themselves don't appear to be dynamically generated. They're all pre-planned by the looks of it. The combat's fun. The graphics are beautiful. Archon Fury ready. Oh, that's what I was picking up. Ar Archon Fury charge stuff. So in here, I know we had more stuff. There we go. And you. Gimme, gimme. Oh, look, this changed. That was something else before. It was like one of those red things. So it seems like the, the loot that's in here maybe gets a little bit randomized. <laughs> no worries if you don't post this. You're too remembered to drunk. Okay. <laughs> Zero grit sandpaper. He just uses paper. It's not even. It's not even sandpaper at that point. Zero grit. <laughs> Man, mark on powers. I'm stuck behind a tree. <laughs> Save me. There we go. Ooh, I wonder if that's gonna be a boss fight over there. Big fancy ring looking thing. Here's something. A slight chimey kind of a noise. 
Oh, what was this? It was like really, really quiet, like super subtle. Oh, actually, I want to see what, uh, what do we get in the armor here? 90% breach, uh, 8% to inflict bleed. Alright. Uh, where was I going here? Oh yeah, back this way. Chest over there. Chest there. Chisel is a weapon. It's smoothed out thanks for using the sandpaper. <laughs> if we can get an indoor environment, it might actually smooth back out again. I'll recharge my Archon Fury. 153 meters this way. Can I break through here? That would be a no. Reminds you of God of War. Yeah, a few people have said that actually. I never played God of War myself, so I'm, I don't have a good comparison there, but. Okay, this is where that chest is Soulbound chest. Destroy three spirit tethers will unlock the chest. Okay, so lost Valorian artifacts will help you grow stronger. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's one down. So I found two of these before when we were doing this, and then I couldn't find them where the third one went. I don't know how far away from the chest they are, or whether they're, gonna, they're just automatically close by. Spirit vision's not helping much. I mean, there was something glowing up here, but it's just this thing. God of War is like this. You're welcome, Fox. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for clearing that up. That was great. What a jerk. <laughs> uh, where's this last tether I gotta get? Maybe it's back that way? Oh, there it is. Nope. That's not it. There it is right there. Smashed it. Okay. This should be openable now, I think. How's the stream going? Uh, I mean, it's been fun, but uh, the quality of the stream feed, unfortunately, has been suffering. But I'm having fun with the game so far. I like stuff, Quest. Ooh, Gilden Blade! What have we here? Show me the fancy fancies. It's blue. Oh, look at that thing. 32 physical damage. Primary plus 9% weapon technique charge speed. Secondary plus 5% weapon technique charge speed. So it just charges up its weapon thing a lot. This is 18% more damage. Uh, oh, the chisel is also a longsword. 28 damage. So 26 on this or 32. I guess we're going to use this thing. Wait a minute. Why is there still things in the armory saying I didn't look at it? Oh, shatter plate. 28. Okay, so I got I to gotta change two things, actually. We need to change this to our Gildan Blade. And then... Uh, oh, I don't have the ring equipped on me. I don't have any rings. Man, I gotta set this whole thing up. What's going on here? There we go. And then this needs to be changed to the other hammer that's uh, more powerful. 19% breach. There we go. Okay. Wow, look at that sword. Ugh. <laughs> this must be the great sword. <laughs> that's huge. Freaking huge. Got a war with Diablo-like loot vibes. Yeah, a little bit. Or like, uh, it, it does have that kind of like a, a kind of a stuff quest kind of a thing going on that like Diablo has, right? This is a multiplayer capable game as well. I'm playing single player, but uh, you can play multiplayer in this as well if you have friends you want to play with. Necron Fox, is this coming to Steam or is it just on the Epic Store? Right now it's an Epic Store exclusive for PC. It's coming out on PlayStation 5 tomorrow. Uh, and then I don't know about uh, plans for Steam, unfortunately. Oh, 
that was a big fat miss. Oh, jeez. The guy exploded. Ow. I gotta get this guy with the gun. He's driving me nuts. Ow. Didn't block fast enough. Going down. Ow. Oh, killed him through his block. Eat it, buddy. Any cool over here? What's this glowy red thing going on? How is there something glowing red over here? Oh, never mind. It's just like, just like the peripheral of your vision kind of thing. Will frame drops due to streaming? Do you think? Yeah, it's just the stream itself. The game itself is running fine, but the stream is really choppy. Apparently, um. I'm trying to get to a point here, I guess, where we can get indoors and then maybe it will improve. Because it seemed to be this environment in particular with the trees and all the lighting effects and stuff. That just seems the to be tanking it. Tower is up ahead. Keep your hand on your sword. Uh, it's a big sword. Are you sure you want me to keep my hand on it? What do they get the game so far? It's fun. The The graphics of it are beautiful. Uh, I'm pretty early in the game, so I don't know how extensive the gameplay is in terms of like how many uh, how many hours of gameplay you would get out of it, sort of thing. Uh, but I'm having fun with it so far. It's not a cheap game though, from what I've seen. It's uh, it's definitely a premium price game. Oh, he's got the protection on. Ah. Oh, they killed me. <laughs> no. no. Okay. Uh, oh, I lost my charge up. Uh, all right. Get the protector guy. No, my shield's not ready. The sword is really slow. It's powerful, but boy, is it slow. Oh, he's got the shield on now. I figures. I wonder if I could line of him and get the shield turned off. Alright, that works. Yeah, I gotta get this protector guy with the shield. And I'm... Oh! <laughs> Alright, he's dead. This, uh, this sword is cool. It's powerful and everything, but I don't like how slow it is. I prefer the faster weapons. Hopefully, I can get a better upgrade for uh, like the the, two, the dual wielded swords or something. Cause I like playing, I like fighting with those. Our target is on the upper level of the watchtower. Some kind of codex thing. Blue. Oh, I missed uh, chopping over here. There you go. I was trying to do a swiping move, but it did. <laughs> All the moves were overhand chops. Oh, these things. Not breakable. We'll see with all the buffs in god mode. <laughs> Ooh, harmonic blade weapon. All right, hold on. Let's, let me see what I got here. Harmonic Blade Weapon, 50% takedown damage, all right. This one does uh, 28, eh. all right, I need, uh, hmm. I don't know, it might be worth taking a weapon that does lower damage that I can attack with faster. Nice, <laughs> a potato of the vase. Not once, but twice. Oren, oh, hey, dude. Live. 
I'm here for the rights of ascension. Defeat Phalanx, sir. Ow! Oh, that, that attack was a little faster than I thought it would be. Whee! Oh, jeez, he's fast. For a sword, or a fancy club thing that's that big, you'd think it would be a little slower attacking. My shield that does knock him down. Ow. Oh, I don't have my aircraft ability charged up. Shoot, I was trying to use it. Pay attention with that attack was earlier. Ow. Ah, it's not charged. Uh oh. Where are you going? The High Lord has teleported. But he hasn't gone far. Track his men. They'll lead you to him. Alright, so I guess that wasn't the final boss fight I thought it might be. Ooh, there's a blue thing. I hope that blue thing I picked up was another blue weapon. I don't think so, though. No. Suspect not. Ooh, the gavel weapon! Woohoohoo! <laughs> Silverbane. Alright. Let's see. So, I'm using this thing now, which is the rare greatsword. Another rare great sword, 32, 17% to inflict ignite with your northern technique. Plus 10% uh, timing attack damage. And then this hammer does 32, 5% chance to mark, uh, to apply the mark of weakness whenever you hit an enemy, plus 50% weak point damage. I was hoping it wouldn't be another great sword, but I'm going to take that. Uh, let's try this. I'll put the hammer in here. Oh, actually, do I have anything I can stick in here? Amulets. I have none. Alright. This one has a slightly faster attack speed than that other greatsword. I don't know. Let's see how it works. Oh, I fell. Was I supposed to go here? <laughs> when you get in the middle of an attack combo, you can't stop. <laughs> and they have they have attacks you can't block. All right, so I don't have anybody shooting at me. Get him! Oh, he's on fire! Ow! Found him. He's in the clearing. Get him! I need to heal. <laughs> Split him in half. Okay, my Archon Fury's charged up this time, so I can try to use it on this guy. Hand it over if you want a lift. Macros is on the mat. Oh, jeez. Like 
me up. I don't have any healing right now. <laughs> this isn't gonna go well. Especially if he hits me. Air gun power. Okay, that didn't work so good. Get the healing. so tough. Oh, great. He's drinking a potion. Nope, that's not a healing potion. It is a healing potion. Stop it. Ow. All right. Yes, healing. Thank you, game. Finish him. Oh. <laughs> what a kill. I wonder if I get this big hammer now. I'll get another Gildan Blade. Really? What the other? Oh, Mercy Weapon. There we go. Got a few things. Incarnate Essence. Love the earth shaking sound. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I got a couple of items there. Let's see what we got here weapon wise. Man, the weapon's coming fast and furious. Uh, Mercy, rare dual blades, 32. Yes. I want that. Let me use that. The great swords are. are they're kind of cool, but I just don't like how slowly they attack. I'd rather have like quick little attacks I can like strike and move away. Here's the Twilight Beacon. That's off uh, this way. Definitely got a war style. You like it? Yeah, it's fun. I uh, I like the combat in this. I mean, I'm biased because I didn't have to buy the game though, so that's you know just to be clear. Yes, more slashes. Nope, another beacon to light up. Story mission completed. We did a thing. I'm gonna get up like bonus stuff now, I think. So I think it said I get like a rare ring reward and uh, something else, right? Twilight beacons, all right. Activate Twilight beacons to release new exploration objectives to the realm. Each objective has a reward. Complete all objectives for additional rewards. You can activate Twilight Beacons again after you've completed the objective to release more into the realm. Not entirely sure I understand that, but okay. I'm gonna find hidden objectives here. Hidden objectives. What are the hidden objectives? Oh, green thing over there. If I, can hit, I don't know if I can throw my shield that far. That would be a no. Oh, what the? You guys weren't here a second ago. Oop, Park out ability not ready.
this archer guy. Heal. Heal. These archers are bitches. No, I died. Let's keep going. <laughs> I gotta get these archers out of here. Alright, one down. Ow! Oh my god, there's still an archer. Okay. Now I can focus on you. Ow. Okay. Or I can get beat in the face. Okay, he's kicking my butt. I don't like this whole shield business. Oh, that's not blockable. Heal. Huh. Should've done that sooner. <laughs> Definitely should've done that sooner. I gotta find hidden objectives. Oh, there's one up there, glowy thing. Is that actually a hidden objective, or is it just one of those stone things I gotta click on again? Stone thing. Not a chest, though. Doing a great chumble woman impression. <laughs> I get knocked down, but I get up again. Whee! I still haven't found any hidden objectives yet. No Archon ability. These enemies are a lot tougher than the one I was <laughs> the ones I was fighting a little bit ago. Ow! They're just absolutely owning me. Let's see how the big hammer does. <laughs> Smash him! Smash him good! Alright, I like this hammer. Oh! Oh, level five. Oh, what the heck is that? Ow. This must be a hidden objective here, maybe? Ow. I don't know what that I don't know what I found there, but I found something. Crushed him. Great. <laughs> For AoE damage, this hammer is boss. Charge up again. We going later due to issues today? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, the issues are kind of consisting, or not consisting, but they're continuing. So it's not like, not like we're getting a chance to avoid the issues. Uh, I wonder if it's the big red glowy thing that's the hidden objectives, because I see a couple of those.
Oh. Triggered my Archon ability. Oh, this thing here I gotta get. Codex entry. Orin's Journal 2. I wonder if those just add, like, backstory or something that goes to Codex entries. Okay, I gotta get a, a position here where I can throw my shield and hit this glowy thing that's up here. There we go. Plus 10 sun steel. Let's see if these red things here are the hidden objectives. For you. Turn to Sanctum and continue your journey. Oh, I gotta go... Oh, I see. <laughs> Didn't even notice the thing was telling me to go back home. I'm still just running around doing random stuff. Um... Alright, let's try that. Um... Complete mission. Oh, I thought I could just hit the button and go back to Sanctum, but I guess I can't. Oh, wait. Complete mission. There we go. Still in trees too though. Yeah, it's really. Uh, I, I need to get like an indoor environment or something because it was performing fine earlier and then it just died and it's made for a really weird stream. It launched on a weird note too because it was. I couldn't adjust the graphic settings right at the beginning and it was a little choppy, unfortunately. It's a shame because this game's really beautiful. I'm enjoying playing it. The combat is fun. It's uh, there's uh, some like neat different abilities and stuff of the weapons I kind of like. Oh, there we go. Gilded, Gilded Rosen Band Ring and then something else we got there. Some sort of trinkety thing. Uh, we got a skill unlock too. So let's do the trinket first, I guess. Mark of the Duelist. Rare amulet, 32 spirit. Restore 16 health whenever you perform a critical hit. Uh, secondary plus 5% shield charge speed. All right. And then... Uh, 26 spirit. This gives 20 might. Let's uh, try changing this to whatever this is. Plus 32 vitality. Primary. Apply the mark of weakness whenever you hit an enemy with a polarity attack secondary plus six percent water resistance i'm gonna lose a little bit of damage output but I guess that's all right sit here night lifestone can i do anything else down here no just that uh in the armor we've got a few of these oh what's this solace rare great sword. <laughs> i keep getting great swords <laughs> they're cool and all but I'd rather have something that's not a great sword because the great swords are really slow. Skills, takedowns. You can perform a takedown on small enemies immediately after a parry. Hit how many weak points to deal increased damage and knock down the enemy. All right, that sounds like a good option. Let's do that. Talk to the seventh sanctum. Well done. We have the rites of ascension. I'll study this spell and learn its secrets. But I cannot fight Macros and his army. That job is yours, and yours alone. Are you ready to see what you are up against? Show me my enemies. Okay. Macros. He's not a god yet. Tell me how the rites of ascension work. In order to complete the rites, Macros will need to absorb a massive amount of Ethereum. I doubt he's gathering all of that energy on his own. Exactly. Each of his lieutenants is channeling elemental energies for him. They'll be his strongest allies. Without a doubt. But remember, 
When you defeat them, their strength will become your own. This is Zamora the Farseer. Her Vargul warriors hold the Earth Realm for Macros. She's a powerful sorcerer. She's an animal fighting to survive. She's sealed herself in her lair behind the Prismatic Falls. You'll have to find a way to breach her defenses. Next, you'll face Lunara. It's in the Water Realm, drawing magical energy from beneath the surface. Lunara is a guardian construct. It won't be easy. Lunara is mindless, but still dangerous. Unfortunately, its participation in the rites has only made it more powerful. I recognize this one. Reeves Sunsteel. Greaves is a godsmith and a madman. He is responsible for arming most of the Macros' elite warriors. He is also a master of fire magic. He only serves Macros because it benefits himself. Lastly, Gildan Commander, a true believer in Macros' right to become god. He holds court in the Air Realm, forcing trials of combat on unwilling souls. I don't know this one. Macros sees him as your replacement. Killing his lieutenants isn't enough. I have to face him. Macros absorbs the Ethereum they send him. He believes he is already unstoppable. He's wrong. I'll stop him. That's cool. I guess that's all the different bosses and stuff in the game we'll have to fight. It's nice that the stream smoothed out now that I'm indoors again. It, clearly it was that environment that was really killing it. Um... But the trouble is, I don't know what the environment's going to be like in all the different areas we're going to have to play in the game. So that's kind of a kind of a major downside, I feel like. Have I got to talk to her again? I guess I do. She talks you too much. strong, Orin, But not strong enough to defeat Macros and all of his men. You must train. I've found a man who can help. He is a godsmith of some renown who can help you craft and upgrade your gear. The Vargul are holding him captive on the other side of the Crimson Glades. Head to the Vargul stronghold, breach their defenses, and rescue this godsmith. Alright. Okay, I need, uh, I'm gonna switch to the, the other armor that I had. Um, uh, which I think is over here somewhere? Yeah, it's this first one over here. Equip. There we go. Okay, I gotta change my weapon setup again because it seems to reset that automatically, which is kind of weird. Um, so I'm gonna use the uh, Mercy Dual Blades and then. Oops. Come on. There we go. Big fancy hammer. I'm gonna put a trinket on. Amulet, rather, whatever. All right, sweet. So this guy's abilities, or this or this armor's abilities, rather. Uh, where is that? Archon Fury. There we go. Oh. Oh, I can choose different cosmetics. Didn't even notice that. Uh, Valor plates. None. <laughs> I thought this one. Uh, I thought I had like a special cosmetics here with the particular coat that I got, but I guess not. Uh, Archon Fury. This guy does 300% weapon technique charge speed. 30% damage whenever you defeat an enemy with a weapon technique. Alright, whatever. Sweet. Okay, let's uh, let's see where this sends us when we go after the Godsmith and hope it actually loads alright. Uh, it's building... Oh man, it's in the Crimson Glade again. It's gonna be the same thing, I think. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Good morning, Dave. Hey, Dad Nutch. How you doing? Your mouse is going crazy for some reason. <laughs> she called you weak. You gonna take that? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. Thank you. Please, sir, may I have another? Can you make new armor yet? Uh, I don't know, actually. I probably should have walked around and seen whether I could. Mission level higher or lower than your player level offers reduced XP. Higher or lower than your player level. That's weird. I guess that's so you can't team up with people who are, like, much higher level than you and just have them, like, pull you through the different levels. Because there is multiplayer available in the game. 
Look at that. It's not laggy now. That's so weird. Wait, why can't I attack? Strangers are not well liked by the Vargul. You, least of all. They will attack you on sight. They will attack me on sight, will they? Nope. Welcome back to the Crimson Glades. Otherwise known as the Laggy Glades. <laughs> like was do with the bird armor. No, sadly not. It's still the environment. I can still see it looking choppy on the stream a little bit. Not as bad as it was, but. Killed him. Totem's destroyed. Oh, wait a minute. This is the same map and everything. I thought it was like gonna give me a different placement on it or something at least. Oh, I think it did actually. So I had a different starting point. That must have been when I unlocked when I went to those tower things. Get him! Smoke the guy. Oh yeah, the chest respawn and everything. I guess each time you do the mission, it gives you like... The chest was in the same spot, but it maybe just randomizes the loot you can get. That's interesting. And these are back here too. It's weird that they're in the same spot though. That's a little... That's a little funky. Totem's destroyed. can't. <laughs> All right. Ow. Smashed him. Oh, that guy too. Ow. You know what? Can I break this thing now? There we go. First one down. Those totems are full of magic. Smash them, and that magic can be yours. I like bonus magics. What level difficulty did you choose? I just left it whatever the standard one was. Um, so it sort of defaults to a level when you go into it, which I guess is, is based on your character level, maybe. Probably should have looked a little more closely when I was doing it, but I didn't. Let's go get another totem. Totem number two. Don't like you very much. Oh, I got a Knight's Ring. Not that I need it. Get him! Smashed! Alright, total number two down. Good night. Hope you all have a great day tomorrow. Thanks, Mr. Big Bald Spot. Have a good night. I like how the marksman's like, don't care about my buddies in front of you, I'm still gonna shoot. <laughs> Did it shoot his friend? I didn't notice. If so, that's great. <laughs> that's the way it should be. Smoke him good. Totem number three.
Get him. Another one down. Arc on level six. I assume this is part of my training. You I assume are this is part training, of my training. Arm. Okay, reach the Vargul stronghold. Bonus, uh, additional totems destroyed. There's two of them, I guess. Oh, jeez. Don't own that guy. Okay, I should find the, uh, the, the additional totems. I wonder what the, uh, the bonus is when you do it. But to get this game, do you think it's good? I'm actually really enjoying it. Um, I, I said earlier, I don't know how deep the game is, unfortunately, because I've only been playing it tonight. It just came out. Um, so I, I don't know how long like how long the gameplay is, but I'm having fun with it. I like I like stuff quests. I like smashing stuff. I like hitting things. <laughs> so it's kind of like right up my alley. Beaten of Hardened Ethereum. Common Lifestone, 74 health recovery. Primary effect, 10 seconds, plus 13 seconds, all right. And uh, the ring I got was just another one of these plain rings, which doesn't really matter. I guess I could salvage this one. I don't know what salvaging does for me just yet. All right, skills, weapon timing, or soul shatter. Press left button and A to perform a petrifying slam, dealing damage to nearby enemies and petrifying enemies breached by the attack. Oh yeah, we're getting that. We need that. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Oh, there's like different levels of the skills, too. I can spend points on them over and over again. All right. Cool. Uh, all right. So we need to check. Nope. I need to get that thing up there. That's more of that Ethereum stuff I used to make my fancy armor with. If I can hit it from here. Ah, oh, come on. It was so close. Those little goblin guys. Oop, chest. Yes. Those are sparkly. Yeah, if you're planning to purchase the game on uh, on PC, it is an Epic uh, Epic Games exclusive. I have a link in the description below where you can purchase it, and that helps support the channel at the same time. Uh, it's also coming out on PS5 tomorrow if, uh, if you have a, happen to have a PS5. One of the lucky people that managed to score one before they sold out. Oh, the chest over there. Give me the treasures. Okay. I don't see any more totems around. I want to do the two bonus totems. I want to. I want to see whether I get like a better loot reward if I do the bonus stuff. I don't know where they would be though. Maybe not back this way because I already kind of came over here. I guess. If you happen to be a console peasant. <laughs> I don't know, the consoles are really, uh, they're getting pretty powerful these days. I, I don't know that, uh, it's that big of a deal anymore. Frankly, I think the the Xbox Series X is probably more powerful than my computer is. It's kind of disturbing. Nope, oh, there's another, uh, it's gotta be one of those fancy chests over here. What's that crazy thing? We're up! Where's that chest? Somewhere here there's a chest, because I saw one of those anchor things I have to break. I can't jump over rocks. It's kind of weird. All powerful armor! Defeated by plant life and rocks. <laughs> oh, what's this dude? I found one of these before. I don't know what I got for this when I clicked on it, because I was fighting at the time. Valor plate core. Ah, oh, okay. 
And we need those for crafting the Valor Plates, so... That's worth getting. Oh, there's that glowy thing. And whatever these are. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh, don't spike me. Eat Swords of Fury. All right, where's that chest? So there's the one of the, oh, there it is. Okay, so this is the chest that'll be locked. So we've got one here. I can't throw my shield yet. There we go. All right, so that's one. Where's the others? I'm gonna find their blowy, glowy blue goodness. You guys have the most random conversations, I swear. <laughs> okay, that's not the one I have to throw the shield at. Hopefully, you're gonna hit it from here. There we go, that's two. We need to find one more to get that chest unlocked. It should be in this general vicinity. Where is it? Uh, there it is. Got it. Boom, give me treasure. Hope Cement, faithful weapon. What does faithful do? Faithful, rare polearm. 5% chance to apply the mark of fragility whenever you hit an enemy. Plus 7% soul pattern, uh, uh, soul shatter buildup. Let's try this thing. I haven't tried a polearm with this game yet. Ooh, fancy. Ah, oh, it's reasonably quick, too. All right. Let's see how this thing fights, I guess. Alright, it would probably work better if I wouldn't get, didn't let the guy smack me in the face. Oh, I knocked his friend down. Enough of the smack at me. I don't like it. <laughs> I dodged one and got hit by the other. Already. Alright, the reach on this is great, but I'm having a little trouble with the timing. Alright, this guy's gotta go. There's His, uh... His attack, his special ability is neat. He summons those like ghostly warriors that fight for me. That's pretty cool. These magical barriers if we are able to gather enough power. I don't like that sword. The spear. Head Whatever. to the base of the prismatic falls. There is a source of rich ethereum there we can use. Oh. That polearm thing does more damage than the dual swords do. I, mean, I guess that makes sense, but... I'm to use the rare dual blades. 
I like those. Run, run, run. You guys have the weirdest random conversations in chat sometimes, I swear. <laughs> you see what I see. You can see I what I see. Within your valor plate. I can affect the world through you. Oh, spank that guy. Totem destroyed. Soulbreaker charged. Give me the soulbreakers. Come on, friend. These, uh, these small blades I find is that it's easier to dodge because the, each attack doesn't take a long time to execute. So if they go to attack, I can hit the dodge button easier. I have to hit a whole lot more times, obviously, because it's... It's, uh, it's a weaker weapon, but... Except in that case. <laughs> you gotta die, buddy. He's got two friends. Ow! Can't even see what I'm doing. I got tele- no, he teleported. Another Golden Blade. I don't know where the chest is for these three lock things, but I found uh, found all three of them. I gotta find the chest. Happy B-Day to Sasha. It's Sasha's B-Day? Your game wouldn't load past the title screen. Oh, that sucks so bad. I didn't have any any trouble with the loading. It was kind of weird, though, because the uh, the title screen doesn't come up right away in this game. Oh, this might be the chest here I just unlocked. It goes through, like, a whole big cutscene kind of thing first. And you can't uh, you can't adjust your, your video settings until you go all the way through that cutscene, which is uh, kind of a pain. You can hit space to skip it, I guess, but... Even then, it doesn't go right, right to a menu. Okay, so this thing's all glowy now, but I, I, I'm guessing maybe that chest that just opened is the one I found the locks for, but... Oh, what the heck is that? That's different. I thought that might be a jumpy thing up there, but it's the wrong color. Can't go up there. This is kind of opposite to the direction I'm supposed to go for the quest. No. Invisible wall. Alright. This way, I guess. Every day's Friday, would you ever have a dog? Out here. Oh, there we go. The We're in. The behind the fortress. 
Game reminds me of God of War. Yeah, a few people have popped in and said that actually. I didn't play God of War, so I didn't uh, I didn't make that comparison right away, but a, a number of other people have. Ow. Bad timing. You search for your ally. Do you think he's coming this way? Oh, <laughs> that was weird. The marker like slid across the screen. I thought maybe the guy was moving. It's over there. Kill him first. Ah, oh, it was a busy leveling up. <laughs> Ow. Oh, geez, that hurt. <laughs> Ow, geez. down. There we go. It's Kurtz, he did. Raider, rank one achieved. Whatever that means. I got rank one of something. Be another boss fight here. Oh, maybe this is the boss. Be a boss, Vargul champion. All right. He looks sort of bossy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Hits like a boss too. Ow. Me. Oh, that was close. Oh man, the reach on that thing's brutal. Quick heal. Stop targeting this guy. Keep my target off. Ah, come on. I don't want to target that guy. There we go.
No, oh, come on, I have like a kill there ready. Down, buddy. <laughs> Look at the size of that weapon. That's a little ridiculous. <laughs> Look at all the stuff. Purpley. Got a purpley thing. He's back through there. Ooh, carapace blade weapon. Yeah. Give me one of them. It's purpley. Of course it's a great sword. Man, <laughs> I get, there are so many great swords in this game. 38, fire DPS. Apply the mark of weakness whenever you hit an enemy with a weapon technique. Secondary, plus 4% crit hit chance, plus 20% damage uh, to ignited enemies. Well, we gotta try it. It's a gigantic sword. <laughs> oh god, it's huge. All right, let's go see what this thing's sending me to. Give me how many great swords I've gotten already. That's nuts. Thank the archons. Thank the I archons. thought I'd be stuck here. Are you did. Wait. Horan? Story mission completed. You're alive. Zenon. I didn't know it was Zenon you here. And I didn't know you were still alive. I'll take this as a sign. Perhaps we'll survive Macros's madness after all. Come, we have much to discuss. Are we going into a sanctum? Oh, Horan. Yeah, I like the dual wielding in this too. I think that's probably my favorite. Uh, my favorite weapon is the dual sword so far. Uh, how do I activate this beacon again? There we go. Okay, so I can do hidden objectives using Spirit Vision. But we can also just end this the uh, end the mission here. I guess that oh, it must be those red beacons that are the spirit, the bonus objectives. That was a chest. Oh, how do I do these things? I wonder. So there is a chest hiding here, but I have to do something to get it somehow. Seriously? I just... That's it? Uh... Okay, what do we do now? <laughs> Not that, clearly. So I found the chest and activated the things here, but I don't know what I have to do with them now. Hitting B does nothing. Is this game good? I mean, I'm enjoying it so far, but um, like I said, I've said a couple times, I've only played it tonight, so I don't know how deep the game is, but I've had fun with the combat. The graphics are nice. I like the weapons and stuff, the fighting style. I've gotten killed a couple times because I've been sloppy, but uh, it, the, the combat's not super difficult. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Clang. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe I need to use a big hammer on it. Maybe it's like whack-a-mole. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> that was a timer on it. Oh, okay, hold on. So I have to do these within a time limit by the looks of it.
I can't believe it's actually a whack-a-mole game. That's amazing. <laughs> Boom. Did I get it? I think I got it. There we go. So the hammer has dual purposes. <laughs> Spirit pumice, life stone. Uh, oh, I didn't actually equip this other thing here. Nope, this banners. Oh, okay. So I've got... Wait a minute. I've got this knight stone that gives me... Plus 50 health recovery. Or this one does plus 89 health recovery. I think we'll equip that one. That's better. Sweet. Okay, so that was one of the bonus things. Uh, the other one's over here somewhere. Say hello to my little friends. Ow! You shot me. Grab a bit of lore. Okay, what's the deal with this one now? Uh, okay. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> I think I unlocked it. <laughs> I don't even know what I did there. <laughs> But I did a thing. Uh, all right, so we have one more hidden bonus objective, which is hidden to the point I can't see it right now. Buy, wait for sale, or avoid. Uh, I'm enjoying the game, but I, I didn't pay for it, and it's kind of a pricey game. Depending on what kind of style of game you like, I might lean towards waiting for a sale, but um, if you really like this style of game, then I would say it's worth the full pop, but... Uh, I've only played it a little bit, so I, I don't have a ton of experience yet to be able to say, like, you know, it's definitely worth the value. I'm also a little bit biased because I got a copy of it for free from Epic Games, so just bear that in mind, too. Codex entries. So many chests of goodness. Nightblade weapon. <laughs> leaving them. These things are weak. It's a little overpowered, isn't it, with that thing? Okay, the... Oh, there's the final bonus objective there. Missed me. Oh, I got the weak point hidden, finally. It's the first one of those I've seen, I think. Leaving them. Ow. In there, get them. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Tackled him. This greatsword's cool and all. I, I need the, uh, I need more of the, more of the dual wield weapons that are strong though. Just, I like the faster attacks. Split him in half. There we go. Oh, look at poison. Okay, so the last bonus objective is like here. Yeah. Uh, I'm not seeing it though. It's very gray. Huh. It is like right here, but I don't. Oh, it's up in this. Oh, I'm confused. Big box sideways, I hear on a pill. Oh, I see. <laughs> I feel like the early game's grindy. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's fair enough. I, I think there's, uh, I mean, there's plenty of games that are like that, but, uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this particular one. I can't even see anything I'm supposed to activate. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Does this have anything to do with it? Are you related? If you are, that's one of them. See any others though? I 
There's number two. Where will we find number three? Above, look up. I mean, I, I was looking up, but... When I get, like, right into the beam, though, it, uh... I can't... I can only look up so high. This is as high up as I can look. Sometimes the combat's a little weird in terms of like trying to keep your eye on a target. Here we go. Get him. One down. Two down. <laughs> Got those. Uh, if I can get a right angle here, there's a thing up in the tree here I need to hit. Right there. Yes. Nice. Okay, I still haven't gotten the other bonus objective, though. Okay, so I found two of those uh, blue things that unlocks a chest or a seal or something. I thought it might be part of that bonus objective, but now I'm not sure, because I've only found two. Oh, the chest here, though. Oh, you know what? This looks like the one it unlocks here. This is the spear chest. Leaved him. Leave it to Cleaver. That is still locked. Uh, where is the last one of those things? There it is. Found it! Hit that one way down here. Okay. Yep, it's open. Sweet. More stuff! Spine cleaver weapon. It's not purple, but it's uh, it's another blue weapon. What's the spine cleaver do? Another rare great sword. <laughs> Imagine that. It's a great sword. Who would have thought? Uh, it does forty earth DPS. All right, we'll try it. Why not? Uh, I got another ring too, actually. Thirty-six vitality. Uh, sure. Bet it leaves spines. It might. Maybe. Yeah, still haven't figured out what the deal is with this yet. It's a mystery. A busy town mystery. I don't get it. 
The other ones were relatively easy to figure out. This one, uh, this one is vexing me. Give this man a greatsword. I'm so tired of greatswords already. Uh, that's all I keep getting. I have no idea how to uh, how to open this objective. All right, I'm going to call it here. We'll uh, just go back and complete the mission. Since I can't figure out what I'm supposed to do for that bonus objective, I don't want to just stand there looking around looking stupid. Don't forget to craft new armor when you get back. Oh, yeah, I'll have to check and see what I can make now. I don't know exactly how it decides what it is you're able to make, whether it's, can you throw, uh, whether it's just based on, like, a particular order or, like, the having the right number of reagents or something. You can't throw your, your shield straight up. You can't even look straight up, so it kind of rules that out. I got a new skill point. Uh, let's see if we can make another armor piece. Talk to Zanoon Earthminder. Oh, actually, he might be the guy that lets me upgrade stuff. Oh, wait, I can make this one now. <laughs> it looks like a moth. <laughs> oh, I can make this one, too. Okay, I can make them all, apparently. I just wasn't watching. All right, I want to see what this one over here does. Armistice, Archon Fury, unleash a shockwave that breaches nearby enemies and deals three physical damage. Train Archon Fury does plus 50%, blah, blah, blah. That guy looks pretty cool. Uh, that one's kind of neat. This is the one we already unlocked. This guy looks sufficiently demonic. Bulwark. This is the tanky one, maybe. Some of three physical sentinels. Spooky. I don't know which one I should make here. This is the one that my 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 uh, my brother ma wears or whatever. Hinterclaw. It'd be all wolfy like. I'm gonna unlock this one, I think. Craft it. Oh, I don't have orbs of oblivion. Okay. So I'm not making that one. This one uses infused jasper and valor plate cores, so I could make that one. Uh what about this guy? Etheric filament. Not doing that. Crystalline tear. Etheric filament. Infused jasper. Oh, we can make this one. We can make bulwark. We can also make Greyhawk. 10% shadow. Alright, let's make this one. That one looks cool. Craft. Boom, we unlocked another the armor. armor of focus was most commonly worn by younger warriors seeking to hone their skills. Oh, it's training armor. <laughs> Where's the training wheels on this one? Ah, I hate how you have to set up your weapons on each one. Uh, cool. Copy current loadout. There we go. Except it took my weapon away. Thirty-two damage with those versus forty with this thing. I don't know. I just I like the faster attacks. I wish I had a better weapon. All right. Sweet! At least I can copy my loadout. That's That makes it a little bit easier. Uh, don't have a charm. Okay, let's go talk to the dude over here. It's a noon earth miner. Where is he? There he is. So this is the inside of a sanctum. Mm-hmm. She's quite something. Though I did not expect her to be so... independent. She's a living being, Orin. Not merely some weapon. <laughs> it did shade me for the armor, yep. <laughs> well, in that case... I'll have to look to you for the weapons. Ha! <laughs> you never change. I'll provide you with basic arms. The rest we can forge. Here. This will help. A sacred flame. Go on. Light the forge with it. Oh, I can craft weapons in this game. 
New skill point. Uh, where is this forge I get a light? I mean, that kind of looks like that could be a forge, but it's not. Oh wait, yes it is. There we go. You will be able to upgrade your equipment once we gather the right materials. Forge, you've rekindled the forge. Upgrade your equipment with resources to improve your stats. Uh, equipment can be upgraded up to five times. Enchant your equipment to improve its rarity. Augments and common items cannot be enchanted. Huh. Okay. Uh, well, where's that? Can I upgrade this thing? Oh, I see. Enchant. Upgrade takes Electrum. Oh, that's what that little that stuff is I've been collecting. That's Electrum, I get. So I can upgrade this thing and make it more powerful, I guess. I can't enchant it, though, because I need Sunsteel and Dragon Steel for that. Uh, and then we can also Salvage. I need to salvage some of these weapons I'm not using. I'll get Sun Steel, but I don't know where to get Dragon Steel yet. Maybe I'm not able to upgrade or er, uh, enchant weapons just yet. These are all giving me Sun Steel. Neat. All right, well, let's upgrade these things. I kind of want to use the dual blades. So upgrade those, that'll get it up to 34 damage. Now up oh, now the upgrade costs Electrum and, and Sun Steel. Incarnate Essence. Sure. Choose a trait. <laughs> uh alright, upgrade. Now we need Dragon Steel. Alright, so. It's already as good as the, uh, the, the, the dual-wielded weapon amp. That's pretty cool. All right, I like that. So I can smash or salvage or whatever or the, a whole pile of the weapons I have. That'll get me more sun steel, more of that Illyrium stuff so I can make my weapons better. That's pretty cool. All right, it's pretty late now. It's almost 1 o'clock in the morning. I have to work in the morning. Uh, I ran a little late tonight because we had a bunch of stream problems earlier that kind of persisted, unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately, the... Uh, game wasn't streaming super smooth, but it was running great on my computer, unfortunately. I just couldn't see it that way. Uh, the game is again, again available on PC right now. You can get it through the Epic Game Store as an exclusive. There is a link in the description below if you want to pick it up for yourself. Uh, it's also available on PlayStation 5 starting on the 12th, which is, uh, I guess, now if you're in the East Coast time or anywhere east of me. <laughs> uh, but thanks everyone for coming to hang out tonight. Uh, tomorrow night we'll be playing some Grounded. That'll be at 9 p.m. Eastern time. If I can ever sort out the... Uh, the issues with this game, I kind of want to play it again, but uh, I need to get the uh, the streaming sorted out or it's just not going to be worth it. It's no, no point having a choppy stream the whole time. Uh, but thanks again, everyone. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.